So we're going to start on the supportbarrow.org homepage and we're going to go to the right. It says launch a fundraiser. So we are going to click that because we're going to launch a fundraiser. Now, as we talked about, you can help in three different ways. You could donate a special event or an occasion. So let's say you want to donate your birthday. If you want to donate your anniversary, um, if you want to ask people to donate to Barrow in place of Christmas gifts, this is where you would um, do that here. Um, you can also honor a loved one. Today, we are going to set up a fundraiser honoring one of my loved ones, my father, who had an aneurysm. And so we want to raise money in honor of my dad for Barrow's AVM program. So basically, you can just, you know, honor someone special, um, just anyone in your life, and then thank a caregiver. So this would be good for, you know, Doctor's Day, um, someone who has taken care of you and you want to show appreciation this is where you can do that. So we are going to honor a loved one today. So we are going to become a fundraiser because we are um, creating a fundraiser so that people can donate to the um, ABM service line here at Barrow. Um, if I just wanted to donate, I would just go straight up to donate now, but we are going to become a fundraiser. I am an individual. And so it is going to give you different options to log in. You can create an account or you can just log in using a Facebook account. Most people have Facebook. And so that's what I'm going to do because it's really easy and it should automatically allow you to log in. There we go. So it defaults to $500. That's a pretty good start for me. So I'm going to start there. Um, you want to give your campaign a couple of weeks. Today is, um, we're late October. So I'm going to go, let's say the week before Thanksgiving and end it there. This is where I would, um, encourage you to be very specific on what you're wanting to raise money for. It defaults to help me raise money in support of all patients battling brain and spine conditions, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. So if you are doing a specific fundraiser to honor a loved one, I would encourage you to specifically point out which service line you want to raise money for. In this instance, we are raising money for the AVM program in honor of my father. And so that is what I'm going to put as my page's headline. So I'm going to say, help me raise $500 for Barrow's AVM program in honor of my dad. My dad had an aneurysm. Oh, I actually spelled that right. Three years ago and is still recovering. I wish there was a barrow near him. So set our fundraising pages short URL. So basically it's just going to get, you know, a specific URL or they're just going to name it for you. I would, my dad's name is Billy. So I'm going to put Billy's fundraiser here and I'm going to click finish. I want to change the photo. Um, I'm going to select it from the device. Um, I'm going to drag the photo here. I would encourage you to use a photo that, you know, goes along with the story that you're going to tell this, this photo in particular, um, goes along with the story, um, that I'm going to explain in my story is that, you know, this is the first picture, um, that was taken right after my dad woke up, you know, he was in a coma for three months after he suffered his aneurysm. Um, he's got an AVM that's about five centimeters big on the left side of his head. Um, so we are going to insert that and you can crop it however you want. That looks pretty good. We're going to save, continue. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. What motivated you to start a fundraiser? So I will just say my dad has an AVM and I think that Barrow has an excellent AVM program that could help more patients like him. So finish. Nice work. It says my fundraising page is ready to go. Make sure to check out your fundraiser dashboard for some helpful tools. Awesome. Okay. Just so you know, get fundraising tips. Thank your donors. Update your friends. Okay, cool. All of this fun stuff is going to pop up. So what we're going to do next is, as you can see, that 
Um, this story is uh, still there. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to go up here to manage and we are going to edit the story. And so we're going to do, we're going to delete there and help me raise $500 for Barrow's AVM program in honor of my dad. And so we're gonna delete that, but it looks like you can actually put more photos here. So if we wanted to, this obviously gives you more options to actually personalize your story, which I totally encourage. So help me raise $500 for Barrow's AVM program in honor of my dad. So what we're gonna do is my dad has had an AVM my entire life. And so what we're gonna do is it allows you to do pictures and so we can upload some more images. I'll go to my desktop, I saved a couple of me and my dad use use something that's really going to you know um grab people's you know emotions and stuff like that you always want to do that you can even insert a video which is really cool there are different things you can upload links and stuff like that and so there that's good and if we wanted to you know before and then let's see if it'll there you go you could just even drag as you can see i just dragged that other photo there and so um, let's see, we'll get that. there we go. And so now we can hit save. So now we have a fundraising page that is specifically to raise money for Barrow in honor of my dad for the AVM program. And it has all of the elements that is going to really tug at people's heartstrings. My dad has a really awesome story. You know, he had the first life-saving surgery in Louisiana for aneurysm patients. You know, he's had two in his in his lifetime. He's now in a nursing home. And so basically use photos that's going to help bring an emotional element to the story that you're trying to tell and invite your friends. You can also, from this point, you can share it on Facebook. It's really easy just with the, the touch of a button. I can share this on my timeline. I can tweet this out. Um, I can also share this in an email, which is really, really, which is really easy to do if I had my email set up um, on here. If you go up here um, to this manage and scroll to emails, two things will pop up. One, it'll actually give you a template so that you can copy this to an email and send out to all of your friends. And so they've already written this for you. Um, there's also a template for thanking your, um, your donors because they're actually, Classy is going to send you a notification saying when someone has donated to your cause. And so you can just come to this place where it says emails and then thank your donors um, and pretty much take the lazy way out. But it also lets you um, view your donors too. Um, so you can see who you would like to send it, that email to. So that's pretty cool. But that in a nutshell is how you create a fundraising page um, on our website.